we have a non deformed spring whose ends are fixed like this it's given that the stiffness of the spring is k now a mass m is attached at a point which is from one of the ends eta times the total length so this mass is attached here which is from one of the ends eta times the length so obviously the rest of the lengths become 1 minus eta times l we need to find the period of small oscillations of this body m so now because we are breaking this uh, spring into two components let's recall one of the properties of this of a spring so if we have a spring of length length l and stiffness k if we break a small part of that which is of length length l1 and let's say the stiffness of that part alone is k1 then k1 l1 is equal to kl is equal to constant so for any part of this of the spring kl is constant so this gives k1 is equal to l by l1 into k so using this we can find the stiffness k1 and k2 because we know l1 and l2 now both the springs will act in parallel so time period will be 2 pi root m upon k equivalent so k equivalent of both the springs that will be k1 plus k2 because they are in parallel and k1 will be l upon l1 into k l1 is eta l and k2 will be l upon l2 into k and l2 is 1 minus eta into l so we simplify that and get our answer